welcome to Tom and Ben News United Kingdom. Ten people have been airlifted to safety after extreme rainfall caused multiple landslides in Scotland. Aerial footage shared by search and rescue helicopters showed soil across the A83 between Tarbert and Loch Gilphead with the A815 also affected. Several vehicles were stuck and Police Scotland told Sky News that no injuries have been reported. Amber and yellow weather warnings for heavy downpours were in place in large parts of Scotland with a month's worth of rain expected to have fallen in a single day. A Palestinian Islamist group has launched the biggest attack on Israel in years on Saturday, killing more than 20 people and wounding hundreds in a surprise assault that combined gunmen crossing into Israel with a barrage of rockets fired from Gaza. Israel said the Iran-backed group had declared war as its army confirmed fighting with militants in several Israeli towns and military bases near Gaza and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vows to retaliate. He said, our enemy will pay a price, the type of which it has never known. We are in a war and we will win it. Speed cameras on one of Cornwall's main roads appear to have been cut down. The two average speed cameras at Parana Werthel between Truro and Falmouth were installed in March after campaigning by local people. Cornwall councillor for the area Peter Williams said he was astounded by the ridiculous act. Head of road safety at Devon and Cornwall Police, Adrian Lisk, said he was saddened. He added that a police investigation was underway. He said on Twitter, saddened for the local community who championed their installation and campaigned for years to do so. These cameras have improved road safety and will be replaced as soon as possible. He said investigations were underway to identify the mindless vandals who did this. A sluggish England outlasted a bruising brilliant Samoa performance to head to the Rugby World Cup quarterfinals with a full house of Pool D wins. The underdogs led 17-8 early in the second half and could have been further clear having seen a third try ruled out for the faintest of knock-ons. Danny Kerr's 73rd minute dart from the base of a scrum was the decisive score in an 18-17 victory. Samoa could yet have snatched a sucker punch victory as they swept upfield only to spill forward five metres short in a penultimate play of the game. If you want to see the full report of it on our Sports News Today episode, then check it out in our Sports News Today playlist on our channel. Or you can simply use the link provided in the, in the descriptions box below. France's government is working hard to contain a national panic over bedbugs as a school in Paris becomes the latest building hit by a reported infestation. Senior officials from the health, economy and transport ministries have met on Friday at the Prime Minister's office to coordinate a plan of action against the insects. They are expected to speed up proposals for a national observatory on bedbugs. Their aim is to establish an accurate picture of the phenomenon. Residents of Biggleswade, Bedfordshire, have called for moves to keep bull locks that graze on a common near residential properties under better control. They say action needed to be taken as each year they keep getting into people's gardens and causing damage. Town councillor Andy Skilton told BBC Three Counties Radio he had been unable to reach Fen Reeves, the Commons' owners, so he shared footage online to raise awareness of the issue. A drink driver has been sentenced after being caught by police six months after he survived a triple death crash in Cardiff. Shane Laughlin, age 32, is already in jail after being filmed inhaling laughing gas at the wheel of the car that crashed in St. Melons. He admitted to drink driving, driving while disqualified and without insurance, and was given a six-month prison sentence. He also had a pre-existing driving ban for earlier offences, extending by six months. Laughlin was sentenced on Thursday after being caught driving on the 2nd of September on Aberporth Road in Cardiff while subject to an interim driving ban. Before we get to your traffic and weather, here is some viewers news from Talking Tom and Friends channel and Creeper Chill to 700.
Here is a quick look at tomorrow's forecast for Leicester. A few cloudy spots there and there. The top temperature will be 21 degrees Celsius and the low is 14. Traffic in Leicester seems to be clear. And that's all today. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Please subscribe. Follow us on our Facebook page. Link is provided down below. And see you next Monday.